Hello, hello, what's going on, fam? I'm sending you with another 90 gallon bow front tank update here. So, a couple big, big changes happening in the next uh, next week or two. Uh, we have, first and foremost, uh, my clownfish here is officially single in life. Uh, I had two of them, but uh, the other one seemed to find his way into my sump. Uh, through one of these drain routes, but yeah, he's he's a goner. He didn't make it, unfortunately. I don't know how many days he was gone. I was wondering what what was missing in the tank, and I realized I only have one clown. And I looked down there, and sure enough, found his carcass. So, oh uh, well, that's depressing, but whatever. Um, he will probably we'll see. He might get another one or another uh, buddy. We'll see how he does alone for a little bit, but actually I think this is a female. This is a female, but um, what, what else is new? What else is new? Well, update on uh, Ron's fish tank. Uh, he has decided, he and I have decided to go ahead and uh, let him have, or, you know, he's taken the, the, the tank off my hands here um, before I move, uh, once I finish school here. Uh, and he actually came last uh, night yesterday and helped me clean the tank and move some of the stuff. So we were just working with pretty much a couple rocks in here and the fish. So uh, all my coral have been moved over and rocks that I want to keep have been moved over to a separate video that I'll make for you guys, which is actually I'll show it to you uh, today or another video, we'll see. But I'm resetting up the five gallon uh, Evo, the Evo 5, and we'll just um, I'll keep the videos coming on that nano tank. It's just that this is this 90 gallons of monster to haul around, and my, my first move alone is going to be across the US so I, I, I just don't see it possible to maintain my tanks ecosystem I can't move I can move the tank but I have to restart every time I move and I'm not trying to do all that nonsense and it's kind of annoying because uh, you can tell now on the back glass and stuff I've yet to do a water change still so it's been about two months now uh, you can see my tank is really cycled nicely uh, a lot of Here's a spot I like to show you guys uh, a lot, but the coralline algae is really coming in nice. Let's see how zoomed in I can get. It's pretty nice, but um, we're talking about all on the back wall, the front wall, and even on the rocks now. Just for example, you know, this back rock was never this purple before. Um, but, you know, really, here's some more coralline algae. It's just really really nice it's coming in nicely the sand to the left I stirred not necessarily stirred but I took away from uh, some sand from the tank for the five gallon uh, but you can tell on the right I did not touch it or anything like that it's still crystal clear the water quality is crystal clear all that's left really is just some green hair algae and I you know was talking to Ron about it and he was saying he wants to get himself uh, some snails that are green hair algae eaters me though i am done with snails i one two three four five six seven eight i didn't place these shells there they, they're just there and this boy right here i'm pretty sure is a goner they just you know i overfed and stuff like that but i guess there just wasn't enough uh, in my tank for them to survive off of so i feel bad about that but i do have some survivors here's one he's having a good old time I'm going to need to uh, move over the fish and of these corals, I'm going to take with me the bird's nest. There's a couple of zoas there that are unique to just those two. I need to move over. Uh, I need to move over the blasto. And I'm probably going to take just a piece of this SPS. But this is something that will do better in a big tank like Ron's tank. Um, but if I can take, you know, maybe a, a, a corner here put it on a rock and see what happens but we got some scattered randoms still on the floor here uh, we got a mushroom in the back you know uh, a couple zoas here that I'll be taking 
and then uh, green hair algae here, or not green hair algae, yeah, green hair algae there. Well, um, your polyps there, and then actually, I think I put this on upside down. I need to change this. This is the one uh, carcass that had the. Uh, Oh shoot, I need to flip that upside down. It had the uh, hammers growing on it. Hopefully they're doing okay. We'll get to that in a second here, but yeah, so uh that's pretty much it with the 90 gallon guys. I'll keep in uh keep you guys posted on what happens and how the setup is at Ron's place and what he decides to put in it, but the rock you see is pretty much the rock he's gonna be getting. Um he's got plenty of rock in his other tank. I I think his plan for now is to keep both tanks running um, and go from there. For these fish, I do plan on taking the three fish into the five gallon. I know it's a lot, but um, my fire fish, especially the one on the right here, he does he does well. He keeps to himself. It's mainly the royal grandma that I'm annoyed by. Uh, so we'll see what how he does in the five gallon and if he gets to be a little too aggressive because he's aggressive even this big tank as you can tell it's kind of kind of annoying so but he is really pretty to look at which is a shame but we'll see um we'll see how it goes as far as equipment um uh, you know i think most of it's going to ron besides like the circulation pumps and maybe the hang on the back that's about it um so he's gonna rock this some rock the uh same setup really that I have here. Let me show you guys. Same everything. Just some salt creep over there from the top of the sump, but some bio balls and the turn pump and nice control nozzle there hiding behind that. So that's pretty much it, guys. But I'm gonna go ahead and make a second video here at some point uh, today or tomorrow or sometime this week. So right now it's a tenth. I keep posting these videos late. I've got another update that I can uh, show you guys of this tank uh, from a week and a half or a week ago. I'll post that up if I haven't already. And I'll give you a good baseline of what uh, the tank has been going through since last uh, last I decided to stop the water changes. But the cycle is definitely complete. It's recycled. It looks beautiful. I think it's ready for some water changes. I'm just not going to bother because I wanted to stay cycling uh, after I take the fish out and uh, cleaner, whatever cleaner is left and uh, go from there. But uh, I still have the air stone running. It just kind of slid up uh, yesterday when we were working on it. It's I feel like it's done a great job for uh, this tank and you know, just letting it bounce back from whatever the heck it was going through. So overall, that's pretty much it, guys. I'll, I'll uh, get you guys... Uh, an update for the five gallon it's pretty much already done i'm looking at it right now and it looks amazing so um look forward to that if you have any questions hit me up below if not y'all have a good one thanks for tuning in peace